What's up guys? Welcome back to this YouTube channel. It's your guy Igor here, your favorite real estate agent who is not even looking like a real estate agent on this video. From Calgary, is he experienced? Oh my goodness, I'm scared of you. You probably already unsubscribed when you heard it. Most hated profession in the world. Yeah, baby. So guys, today's video I dedicate to pros and cons of buying a newer house. So, I have a bunch of clients who are sourcing for new houses who really don't want to buy anything old. So why do they want to buy a new house? Myself, I purchased an older house and I'm strictly, like I love older houses for my own reasons. But I cannot tell you not to buy a newer house because there are so many things and it's only for you or yourself is who's going to be deciding if you want an older house, like this beautiful house right behind me, or a newer house. So guys, let's start. First, let's, should I start with bad things? Should I just demotivate you right away or should I tell you some good things? Start with good things. Well, first of all guys, you're buying a new house. You know, it smells. It even smells differently. It's just cool. A newer house is so good. So you basically are coming into a place where nobody lived before. Okay, I'll just burst your bubble because in Canada, if you're going to be buying a new house, you have, like in here in Alberta, you have to pay GST, which is 5% paid by you, the buyer. So just keep it in mind, you have to pay a little bit more. Back to the good part. So nobody lived there, okay? Newer houses, they are built up to cold. So not like in an older house where I live, where I was like, what has happened here? and I had property inspection going on because I was legalizing basement. But you get everything up to code. So there is no gimmicks there, there is no problems. Everything is great. You just move in and you live, your electrical is up to code, your plumbing is supposed to be up to code. Everything is done, all the permits, all the bills, insurability, everything is perfect. So first of all, it's safer. Secondly, it's more likely to be more energy efficient. So less heating bills, less utility bills. It can even have some technology. Oh, the wind is blowing. Advanced technology used there for different, you know, like how it, the way it's built is less utility bills you would have to pay. And even the water can be reused for like, you know, like laundry water and stuff, you know, like uh, this kind of stuff, it can be reused and uh, recycled. You know, there's a lot of greenhouses going on. So all these kind of things are more mainly available in, in the newer houses. Also you get the modern stylish design your kitchen probably would look fancier you know you have a dishwasher that is built in and not staying ugly outside so you would have more modern kitchen more modern cabinets uh, better washrooms basically everything is looking smelling and feeling better than in older houses okay so you also are likely to get a bigger square footage because people well advancement in technology we figured out how to build houses bigger with the you know like even with the smaller lots the house footage can be bigger and you can get the, the value for this per square footage is also bigger because they are more often on more in you know, newer communities. So another advantage, I'll say disadvantage, let's say it's an advantage and then we'll talk about disadvantages. You might be in a newer community. So the price of that house is also going to be uh, cheaper. So newer houses, they are better, cheaper, more affordable, more energy efficient. And you might even get, uh, well, you, you will get it here in Alberta, there, there is a warranty also, a builder's warranty and there is an extended warranty that you can get. Basically anything goes wrong according to that builder's warranty, they have to fix it. So you don't have that much of surprises. You know, your furnace is not going to go bad because it's brand new, the water tank is there. So you're basically like set for the next 10, 15, 20 years with your major appliances, with your roof and everything. So that's why a huge advantage. Like, why would I tell you not to buy a new house when I feel like buying a new house right now after telling you all these kind of things. But let's talk a little bit about disadvantages. Number one as well, in your community, you don't get this kind of big trees over there. You know, they're all just planted, everything is small, like trees, I mean vegetation. Then it's usually further away from downtown. So you'd more likely be living further away 
from downtown, further away from everywhere, you know, like uh, on the outskirts of the city. So the location, you know, the land value is lesser than in older houses because not always, but generally speaking, in the outskirts of the city, it's uh, usually it's uh, lesser. So you're paying mostly not for the landed houses on, but for the new house itself. The lots are usually subdivided smaller, even though houses can be bigger, but you have less land that you own. So zoning can be different. Now, it's also a negative part. Another part is, well, you buy a new house, you're like, oh my goodness, I want to kiss my real estate agent. Mwah, 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 mwah. And then, you know, there is a mountain view and everything. There was a case like that where a person didn't get represented correctly. So purchased a house, a new house, great mountain view, let's say, and everything. But then all of a sudden, zoning change, builder came in and they built a house in front of their yard. They're like, oh, that's not what I paid for. That's, that's not what I wanted. Now there's like somebody else's house next to you. Like I thought they're not going to be building anything. And that's guys when you have to get an experienced real estate agent to represent you regardless of where you are. Because you get so much of more security and you know protection because real estate agents have to be asking these kind of questions when buying these kind of things to act in your best interest. And also guys, real estate agents don't cost anything to the buyer. So you're like, a buyer Igor, how much am I going to be paying the real estate agent, the seller? So if you're buying it from the builder, the builder is going to pay the real estate agent for bringing you them a customer. So you don't have to pay it from your pocket. The builder is going to be covering that kind of fees. Anyways, guys, as I said, most hated profession. It's like, why do I need a middleman when I can buy it myself? There's so many surprises that can come out that you did not ever expect. It's going to cost you so much that you wish you had a real estate agent that didn't charge you anything for that. Anyways, back to the topic. So, the cons of having, uh, I actually have like a list of negative things, you know. I actually have, but it's not a big one. Unpredictable housing setting and longer commute, uh, Commutes. So, as I said, it's out of skirt city, uh, out of, on the outer skirt of the city. So it's longer to get to downtown if you are still driving to work and not working from home. Otherwise, it's it's great. If you look at the communities here, and we have like Seton, for example, a big guys, biggest YMCA there in the world, like biggest YMCA in the world is there here in Calgary. They build a new hospital, so many amenities. There's so many things that are available that are not available in some other communities that are enjoying their place closer to downtown and stuff like that. You know, if you don't need downtown that much, there's so much of things to do in those newer communities here in Calgary. Guys, give me a call if you need help anywhere you are in Calgary directly or if you are somewhere else in Canada, wherever you are, shoot me an email and I'll refer you to the good agent to help you out in your area because I know a lot of people. Anyways, guys, that's what I want to tell you. So, new house, is always going to be better in terms of you know living less maintenance more energy efficient you know and all the, all those good things it's like buying a new car all the house is uh, generally going to have more land value generally might generally speaking not always would have a bigger lot and uh, more uh, lo uh, better location and it's generally going to be more expensive per square footage but conditions apply guys anyways let me know in the comments down below if you like this video subscribe to this channel to see more shares with your friends and i'll see you guys in calgary and let me know if you need me to wear a suit to 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 look professional or or or, or it's fine see you guys in the next video <laughs> bye for now